four colors laid out on our palette. Palette is a tape attached to canvas. Looking on the photo, working in the eye area, you see that the pupils' eyelashes are dark, which is almost black. We start with the dark side here of the palette, blue and, and red. Of course, that would be very purple. Bring in uh, yellow, turn it black. Fill in the uh, center of the pupil, but be careful to leave the little light sparks in the pupil bright white. Leave it clear. And find the shape of the pupil. Pupil on the left side. I have a small round brush. And I roll it into a tip here in the paint on the palette where I transfer it to the. Melts with the lash line of the eye. Fill that in. Not going to attempt to do any individual lash hairs at this point. And then the other side. there so I'm going to put a substantial amount of paint down. The next lighter tone is more brown away from the black so we're moving more, more into the red and yellow. With some of the Blue is still present. Make sure there's plenty of yellow involved and a rich tone. And outline dark tone. This red, yellow, brown. We have a separation here, beginning of the lid. eye corner on the left side. When I bring the new tone in with the old tone, they blend where they come together. The beginning of the brow.
turning the corner here of the eye on the outside, keeping that dark black tone contained within our uh, lighter browner tone. I'm going to give a, an indication of the location here of the brow. darker shade in here to represent um, hair, a touch of the darker. I'm going to go on to the uh, next lighter color, um, which is an orange brown. I'm not ready to put white into it yet, but a lot less blue. I think I can go a little lighter than that. It looks close to the previous color. I want to put in a very bright, rich orange in here to help buffer the next lighter tones that will have a lot of white in them against the blue in the tones we already have on the canvas. I'll call it a, a buffer tone, protects light tones with white from becoming gray or muddy because of blue. And I'm now concerned about um, isolating or identifying uh, light areas. There's a puffy area under the brow and above the uh, eyelashes. And I seal off these tones. A lot of this will be blended out again later, this buffer tone, when we get the uh, tones in that have a lot of white in it. out of the corner of the eye. Picking a little bit more of a reddish tint here for the corner of the eye where the tear duct is. And I may do the same here for the lower lid coming out of the corner. Beginnings of an eyelid. I wipe excess on a paper towel, my brush, press the hair of the brush, get the shape to it. Now I'm going to do the other side. This is the nose bridge, preparing to come of that, out of that shadow out of the corner of the eye and onto the lighter tones on the bridge of the nose later on. But we do need this uh, rich buffer tone in between. We're creating shape. We're sculpting on a flat surface as opposed to um, three-dimensional clay. lines and blend a little bit the new tone coming onto the canvas blend it a little bit along the edge of the older tone there I like all this paint to stay wet so I can keep blending new paint stroked on with old paint already on the canvas. She has uh, brown eyes 
and since we're dealing with the brown tones here, I can uh, start, at least begin, the iris around the pupil, just the beginning. We'll come back to this later. eyeball goes up under the eye, upper eyelid, uh, the shadow falls down on the eyeball including the iris, so it's darker up high than down below. It looks like she has a dark edge there to the iris. 